in daytime they seem all to be hiding but at the evening most of the times they are on the rocks here Well, this is update number seven, and uh, my name is Kevin, and welcome to K Reef. I had a really sweet trip to Sweden. I had a lovely time there, being with my uh, youngest daughter, and uh, now back here, uh, I have some things. To say about the tank. First, I don't know where he is. Oh, I thought I saw him under here hiding. Maybe he comes out. There he is. You all see what it is. It's a six line ras. So I added him, I think it was on Wednesday. So he's in here like three days or something. But even from the start, it was like he was feeling home. He's always swimming around, nipping at the rocks because there are some, yeah, I think, like flat worms and, and stuff on there. Um, he also comes out in the open. There he is. Always swimming around happily. Normally I should also, I would also add an emerald crab, but my LFS didn't have them in stock, so they are ordered now. For the rest everything is doing great. <coughs> the Duncans, let's see if I can get them a little bit closer. You know, in update 6 I was telling you that the left one stayed close. For some days well some days after the other ones also <coughs> closed up but now they are starting to open again and I think it's also part of doing the essentials dosing from ATI and I made a small mistake you know uh, everyone that is familiar with uh, calcium or magnesium tests uh, you, <clears throat> mine I'm using is from Colombo uh, it's a Dutch company and uh, you use a one mil uh, syringe to uh, add the yeah I don't know what it's called you know the product you you add uh, drops until it changes color and then you uh, you look how many mil how or how much you used from that milliliter and then you can compare how much calcium or magnesium there is in the water well what did I do I filled up the syringe with the product and then I started uh, yeah those uh, adding drops to the uh, to the products so what was my mistake and that I see afterwards I didn't push the syringe to the one milliliter mark so I was actually using too much uh, product and uh, I had of course lower readings so when I tested again uh, after and that was actually after two or three days when I saw the mistake I was making so when I uh, test again but this time in uh, doing on the one milliliter mark then I saw that the calcium was okay 
but the magnesium was too high it was over 1500 so I started to reduce the dosing and uh, now at the moment I'm at 1450 and I'm going to test again tonight and then I hope it's going down again it hasn't been that much a problem because all the other corals always opened up fine only the Duncans uh, they didn't like it so what's more yeah now you don't see them so much I had this I have like I don't know a couple of hundred baby turbo snails uh, one evening I saw a lot of white dots and I think what the hell is that so I take a look and I saw them yeah, moving really slowly uh, so I took a close-up with a camera there is one even two three four five and uh, I saw that it were baby snails you know I only had two turbo snails in here when I started the tank um, by the way, today we celebrate the 5th month anniversary, <laughs> 5 months old. So when I started tank I only had 2 turbo snails, they died, uh, yeah, one died I think a month ago, the other one 2, two weeks ago, 3 weeks, I don't remember. And they left the package, so yeah, I hope they, they grow bigger and maybe I can help some people here in Belgium or Holland. If they want some turbo snails. Uh, what more would I say, uh, did I want to say? Yeah, the em the emerald crab is coming soon, and uh, the six line grass is doing great. All the other fish are doing great. Looks like they are hungry, but I just fed them so. And here. I'm going to add, uh, I don't want an anemone, so I'm going to add a bigger uh, leather toadstool here on the rock. And I'm hoping they will take that as a house. Sometimes I see them going in here, but yeah, it's probably too small for them. Next month I'm going to be upgrading the lights, I'm going to buy an extra... Uh, what the hell was this again? <laughs> it was a razor, <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm going to buy a second one so I can spread the light much more and start adding much more corals. I'm going to probably turn the turn the lights, swipe them in this direction and uh, so each going to light a side um, what more uh, I have talked about the RTE dosing, I've talked about the six lines of RAS there was something more I wanted to talk about but I forgot Oh yes, yeah you probably noticed, noticed of course already that I'm doing updates in the Dutch. Well, my uh, dialect is Flemish from Belgium uh, and I'm doing in English. So there is not much to find uh, good uh, reviews or info videos on YouTube. Uh, spoken in Dutch so I'm going to start some series uh, about fish and coral related stuff and products uh, from here uh, that we have in Belgium and uh, Holland so but I'm yeah I'm not going to do it in English because the some of the products uh, you don't have in America or England or uh, some you have but there is already a lot to find on YouTube about fish care coral care uh, English spoken of course because uh, uh, yeah in the saltwater business is much bigger in uh, in America uh, and probably also in the UK or Australia but than, than we have 
so I'm hoping to uh, inform uh, and, and more people here in, in Holland and Belgium and uh, yeah maybe to make some more people interested in the hobby and if some more people starts to I'm sorry for that <laughs> starts to uh, be interested in, in, in uh, saltwater tanks and, and more people uh, maybe going to do some uh, YouTube channels in Dutch uh, then maybe we can uh, yeah the, the hobby can expand here also and we can maybe get some more great products that is not available here now so if you see them passing the Dutch Pokken uh, series you can always give a thumb up <laughs> I don't mind that uh, but you will probably not uh, understand a lot from it so yeah don't run away from it <laughs> because I will be still be uploading videos in English and doing updates from the reef tank in English and I have some lots more to come because uh, he secretly I'm building a fish room a small one and uh, I have plans for a new sump under this tank and some more plants in the future so yeah stay tuned if you like this update please give your thumbs up uh, I really appreciate it uh, if you are not subscribed yet subscribe hit the notification button so you get uh, alerts when I upload new videos and I really want to thank you all for watching and I wish you a good weekend bye bye everybody